So I recently spent some time in uh, in Thailand, and I got to tell you, it was amazing to see the work that is being done there. There's a place called Faith House, and uh, and girls uh, destined for sex trade are are rescued, educated, and introduced to Jesus. Most importantly, we're thankful for the staff at uh, at Faith House and their ministry to these girls. And I want you to hear how Paul talks about significant service in Romans chapter 10, 14 and 15. He says this, How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. Salvation is of the Lord. He is the one who breathes life into the spiritual corpse. He's the one who brings a person to himself. And amazingly, amazingly, God uses people in this supernatural process. Think about it. You and I have the privilege of caring and proclaiming the message of eternal salvation. You and I have the privilege of telling others how they can spend eternity in heaven with Jesus. The words that place a person on the road to an eternal relationship with the living God comes from our lips. God then works in the heart of the hearer to understand the good news and, and trust in Jesus alone as the only way to have a relationship with the Father. We get to partner with God in the eternal work of salvation. Paul ends the truth of this amazing partnership with a quote from the Old Testament. Isaiah 52, 7 refers to, to runners, how, how, how beautiful it is to those who bring good news. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. So here, uh, the, Isaiah is referring to runners who brought exiles the good news of their imminent release from captivity in Babylon. The runners were coming with some good news. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. So now you and I are the runners who bring good news, a release from captivity to sin. So let's go do it. Let's go do some running and take the message of Jesus to those in our world. Father, thank you for the privilege of partnering with you in the amazing work of eternal salvation. May we be those who bring good news. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.